Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffett is here from Sunny Cyprus and welcome to today's tutorial. And today we're talking Microsoft Teams. In fact, we're talking about multiple instances of Teams. What that actually means is having the same account, not different accounts in multiple windows, but the same account in multiple windows, allowing you to be doing multiple tasks in Teams. So as an educator, I'm always or very oftenly marking homework in the assignments, and sometimes I have to move away from the assignment section, open another team or open another file. And I may want to join a meeting and it gets really frustrating with this whole opening and closing and going backwards and forwards all the time. And if you're a Microsoft Teams user and not an educator, you probably have the same issue with having to open up different teams and keep going backwards and forwards. And if you do, you're going to find this tutorial really useful. And if you do find it useful, you know the drill, you're going to like and subscribe at the end. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, the first step is let's open up Microsoft Teams. So I'm just going to click on the Windows icon, go to my Teams, find my Teams application. Now, I'm just going to mention something really important here. I've always got my Teams application set here on my start menu. You're going to see why, because um, what we're going to do today, we're going to have some multiple icons and that icons are exactly the same and it's hard to figure out which one's which. So I always link that one straight to my start menu or you can put it in your taskbar. So that's just a quick tip there. So with Microsoft Teams open, I could, for example, just go to a team. Um, from here, I'm going to go to assignments. Um, I'll just go to some past due assignments here that I've got. It doesn't really matter which one I'm opening up. I'm just going to open up, I don't know, let's say this uh, five art assignment word here. Okay. And uh, let's say I'm marking right now. This is me. I've got my students, my test students here, and I'm going to be doing some marking. And then for some reason, for whatever reason, I want to have a look at my calendar in Teams or I've got to join a meeting in Teams, or I just want to go back in this team in the file section and open a file which is going to help me mark. Well, that basically means I now have to leave the area where I am, go to the general, go to the files, or go to my calendar, whatever it is I want to do, have a look at that file, download it, do what it, and then I have to go back to assignments and start all over again, find the assignment, find which student I was working on, and then continue my marking. Now, all of that is going to take me out of my flow. And there are some times where you might want to compare or have a look at two files which are in the file section. So if I just go into my general, and let's say I've got a file in here which I'm going to open up, and I'm viewing my file in this window, and then I want to open up another file without closing this one, I now have to download it or do some other trickery there so I can have both files open. So this is where having multiple instances is really useful. And when I say multiple instances, I'm talking about having two windows of Teams using the same account, not using different accounts. That's a totally different thing. Um, but here we want the same account, the same Teams account, opening two or more windows so let's get started with that so there is a uh, one method which we're going to have a look at which is probably the most common method people use and it's the start for the method that i'm going to show you so i'm just going to close this version of teams down and i'm going to open up my browser for the first one i'm going to use i'm going to use chrome and from chrome and then from here i'm going to sign into my 365 account from here, you're going to click on the waffle icon at the top, and you can now open up Microsoft Teams online. And you're going to say, well, that's it. You've got multiple instances. Well, I do. If I do open up Microsoft Teams application right now, there we go. I've actually got two instances of Microsoft Teams, and that works fine. Then you say, well, why, what am I doing here? Um, why would I need to watch the rest of this video? Well, this basically involves you having to open up a browser and then signing into your account. And again, can be a bit tedious. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a faster method to do this. So let me just close the application, go back to my browser. From here, the address bar at the top, you can see I've got this little icon here, which says install Microsoft Teams. Now, if you already have the PWA version of Teams installed, that icon will likely not be there because it will see you've already got it installed. So you could probably find the version if I go into the start menu and then searching for Teams. And, and a lot of people get it confused because it's really hard to tell which one is which, which one's a PWA version and which one is your application. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So as I've got this icon here, which means I don't have it installed. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna choose install. There we go, look at that. 
already installed and it's loading it up for me. Perfect. So now I can close my browser. I don't need my browser anymore. And look up here in the top corner of my screen. I've now got the Microsoft Teams icon. Look at that. So if I close this and I open this, there's my other instance of Microsoft Teams. Now, would you like to pin this to Microsoft in Taskbar? No, I'm just going to close that. All right, so there's, you can say, well, how do I know that's the other version of Teams? Well, have a look. I'm going to go to my window. I'm going to click here on my Teams application, which I've got in my start area here. And there we go. There's my other version of Teams now. And can you see how easy that is to do now? That is just so easy to do. So if I just had the Teams application open, I say, I need a second window. I'm in my assignments. I'm marking, let's say, uh, this assignment here, whatever that is, assignment one. I'm working on this. Oh, and I want to go see a file. Well, hang on. I'm just going to open this thing up on here. I'm going to go to my team. Let's say that one there, or any team I want. I can go to the files, and I can view the file in a different instance of Teams. So you can also run two meetings simultaneously, one in one window and one in another window, if you're that busy or if that's something you want to do. Now, how can you tell between the two versions or which version you've opened up? Well, it's actually a bit tricky, but this is going to help you. So if you have a look on this side over here, I'm just going to change my settings for this one to make it a light background. Okay, so this light version here, this is the one, this is my PWA version, okay? Just turn off those notifications. And how am I going to tell the difference? Well, have a look at the taskbar of this window, this blue area up here. You can see I've got the minimize, the maximize, and the close window buttons at the top. If we look at my application version over here, the minimize, the maximize, and the close button is right next to where my profile details are. Here's my profile picture. Can you see? That's the application. This one over here, this is like a browser window, and my profile is underneath those window control buttons. So I know which one is which. I know this is a, a PWA version, and this one over here is the application. So that's two windows. And then for some reason, you might need to have a third window. Well, we can, of course, as we said, just log into the online version. But I'm going to show you how you can create another icon. So I'm just going to close that one. I'm going to close that one. This one here I used or created using Chrome browser. So I'm just going to rename this. And I'm just going to call that Chrome. Really doesn't matter. It just allows me to keep control of which icon opens what. So I'm going to leave that there on the top right. Now I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge and I can get a PWA version for Microsoft Edge as well. So if I just go to Office. So I've signed into our Office using uh, Microsoft Edge, exactly the same process. I'm going to open up Microsoft Teams. And of course, I could have had three windows of Teams open using the web-based version, the browser version, where I sign in and then go to Teams. But as I said, I want shortcuts. So again, if you don't have already installed the PWA version, the progressive web application version of Teams, then this button here will not exist. If you do, then uh, that won't exist. If you don't, then this button exists, okay? So I'm while I'm in Teams here, I'm simply gonna click on that button. It's gonna say, do you want to install? Yeah, sure. There you go. And it's asking me, where do you want an icon? Well, I don't want it on the taskbar. I don't want it in the start. I only want one on the desktop. Now, this is your preference. I'm going to click on Allow. And there you go. Let me close my Edge browser now. And there we go. I've got another icon up here in the top right. This one I'm going to rename, and I'm going to call this Edge. All right, and I can close that as well. So let's see this in action, guys. So I've got a Chrome button, I've got an Edge button, and in my Start menu, see, if I choose Teams, I search for Teams, I get all these Teams versions, I don't know which one's which. But because I've got my Teams application here on the Start menu, I can click on that. There's the application. How do I know? Look at that, look where my profile picture, my profile details are, up here with the window control buttons. Okay, so let's just minimize that a little bit there. And then I'm going to open the Chrome version. 
Click the app. There you go. Where's my profile details? It's out there underneath the window control buttons. And then I'm going to open my Edge version. And look at that. I don't need to open up my browser. I don't need to open up a browser. I don't need to sign into any account. I could just simply double click and I've got three windows open and each window can be doing absolutely something else. So over here, I could be in a totally different uh, team. Here we go. Let's click on that one. I've just been right. So this is a totally different team and I could be over here. I could be in the file section. So let me just go to my file section on that. I could be in my calendar, I could be in the team's meeting, I could be doing absolutely nothing, but what's important, I can just carry on grading as I was without leaving my assignment and, and I won't get out of my flow, okay? So, um, as I said, this is from an educator's perspective, but ir irrespective of that, if you are using Microsoft Teams, I'm sure you've been frustrated with the fact that you have to leave the window you are, go to another window and then try and find the go back to where you were. And it's just taking you out of your pace, out of your workflow. So that's it. Multiple instances of Microsoft Teams. I hope you've learned something new. I hope I've made your life a little bit easier. And if I have, you know the drill. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.